Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, Pantera. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Start of round one, I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, looks like
like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, beautifully placed knee. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Continuing to go to the head. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Midway through round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. Big kick land. Oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Let's go, let's get the takedown. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nice kick. The right hand just misses. And he landed the right hand there. Big body kick land. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He's able to slip the left there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just unable to quite find that win. Some fighters shy away from him. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. It's a big knee. And they set him. Good stick. And both guys really thrown with authority. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more movement. Second round underway. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. Able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. 
Oh, he hurt a belly the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Massive head kick! Looking to land the leg kick now. Big kick. Just missing on a high kick there. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful body man, right under the elbow. Boy, Todd Klump. Nice punch, Lynn. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big head kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Counter punch landed there by Lee. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. We need the takedown. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Misses with the left hook. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good punch. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Right hand upstairs. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Good job, bro. All right, sit down, bro. Take a deep breath, bro. All right, get him some water. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this, you're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Beautiful strike. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, another.
another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. There's no gives on that leg kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Good punch land. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a problem. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So we'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Great Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.